For Comedy Hive News, I'm Jay Will. Social media has become a place where stars can be made and broken, all within a post on our timelines. Kevin Hart, who has created a great deal of success for himself by utilizing social media, is now experiencing the platform's downside. Just 48 hours ago, Hart proudly took to his Instagram page to announce a lifelong goal of hosting the Oscars. And now, fast forward to Thursday night, Hart has revealed he no longer will be the person for the job after some very controversial tweets began to circulate. Upon announcing that Hart will be the host of the upcoming 91st Academy Awards, tweets dating back from 2009 were unearthed. The tweets in question shows a then 30-year-old Hart loosely using the F word and gay amongst his friends on social media. As things would pick up surrounding his tweets, Hart slowly started to feel the pressure to respond to the criticism. At first, he would tweet out a few things on his issues with those who focus on negativity, and things finally rolled over to a series of videos shared directly to his Instagram page. Beyond crazy. And I'm not going to let the craziness frustrate me or anger me, especially when I worked hard to get to the mental space that I am at now. My team calls me, oh my God, Kevin the World is upset about tweets you did years ago. Oh my God. Guys, I'm almost 40 years old. If you don't believe that people change, grow, evolve as they get older, I don't know what to tell you. If you want to hold people in a position where they always have to justify or explain their past, then do you. I'm the wrong guy, man. I'm in a great place, a great mature place where all I do is spread positivity. If you're not doing that, you're not on my page. Just got a call from the Academy and um, that call basically said, Kevin, apologize for your tweets of old or we're gonna have to move on and find another host. I'm talking about the tweets from 2009, 2010. I chose to pass, I passed on the apology. The reason why I passed is because I've addressed this several times. This is not the first time this has come up, I've addressed it. I've spoken on it. I've said where the rights and wrongs were. I've said who I am now versus who I was then. I've done it. I've done it. I'm not going to continue to go back and, and tap into the days of old when I moved on and I'm in a completely different space in my life. The same energy that went into finding those old tweets could be the same energy put into finding the response to the questions that have been asked years after years after years. We feed in the internet trolls and we reward them. I'm not going to do it, man. I'm going to be me. I'm going to stay on my ground. Regardless Academy, I'm thankful and appreciative of the opportunity. If it goes away, no harm, no foul. Now, just as his video was shared, revealing that the Academy wanted him to apologize over the tweets, Hart would then shift over to his Twitter page to announce that he was stepping down from the hosting job. I've made the choice to step down from hosting this year's Oscars. This is because I do not want to be a distraction on a night that should be celebrated by so many amazingly talented artists. I sincerely apologize to the LGBTQ community for insensitive words from my past. I'm sorry that I hurt people. I'm evolving and want to continue to do so. My goal is to bring people together, not to tear us apart. Much love and appreciation to the Academy. I hope we can meet again. Now, after sharing this news on Comedy Hype social media, it appears that there's a lot of mixed reviews. Some are happy with Hart no longer serving as the event's host, while others are confused as to why he apologized in the first place after stating on camera that he wouldn't. Now, regardless of where you stand, I think many of us are aware that things are different now. Your behavior from the past all the way up to now is in constant question. And for someone like Hart, who prides themselves on being great examples, you're going to find an army of people who look to prove otherwise. So folks, what's your thoughts on Kevin no longer hosting the Oscars for his tweets? Let's talk about it more in the comments below. And for more news and comedy, head over to ComedyHype.com. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Jay Will.